It's no secret that experienced teams often do the little things to win games. On Sunday, the Big Ten's youngest team failed to capitalize on just that, making only 11 of 21 free throws in a 67-63 loss to Minnesota Sunday afternoon in Bloomington. When you look at the statistics, they had we had three more turnovers, they had three more assists, they made a few more free throws. I mean, those are the kind of things that that uh, you go back to that, and if we could have just done this, we could have done that, it's a different story. We made the stops from ahead. So I thought our defense was suspect, especially in the second shot 50% in the second, second half, so it was just the key stops at, at certain times that we, uh, the stops we had to get, we did get. And each time the Hoosiers made a statement, Minnesota had a response. Despite trailing by no more than seven points all game, Indiana simply couldn't regain the lead that they lost in the closing minutes of the first half. We don't have a mindset yet where we're just going to slap that floor. Okay, we'll slap the floor, but where we're just going to absolutely get it done. And, and it's not there yet. And, and it, uh, it's getting closer all the time. There's more opportunities for us to have them. But until we string some very, very important stretches of three stops in a row together, you know, that's going to happen. Just make sure we just keep playing all 40 minutes and make sure all our um, defense assignments are correct. Just don't have any um, mental lapses during those times, especially in crunch time. So you get to um, box, make sure we box our men out, crack on the rebounds and all that, and just make sure we do those things. But while the losses continue to add up, the Hoosiers refuse to quit. I mean, I know we've won nine, eight or nine. In the game losing streak, but I mean, nobody's head is down. We're still, we're still ahead of playing, playing together, and playing well. That intensity was there. Our execution certainly wasn't always there. Our intelligence wasn't always there. Uh, but we had a team of guys that battled, and I never once didn't believe that they didn't think that they could win. So for the second straight week, the Hoosiers drop a close one here at home, 67-63 to Penn State. That is nine straight losses for the Hoosiers. They are now 0-6 in conference play. Next up, a trip Wednesday night to Northwestern, where they hope to right the ship. At Assembly Hall, I'm Ronan O'Shea for Palestra.net, the College Network.